Hello world, Dave here, you may call me Mo Dungeon. Welcome back to Dave's Dailies. This is going to be the daily challenge for November 28th, 2013. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody! Yay! And again, to those who are not American. Well, I don't know. Of course, the Canadians are looking at me funny. Uh, our Thanksgiving was months ago. I celebrate the holidays I celebrate because that's what, what they are for me. They're holidays. So, but uh, holidays aside, holidays aside, food puns, I have, I bet everyone's going to be salivating today. Um, who should I bring in? Let's bring in, uh, oh, Stogie. Actually just wa finally got around to watching Dave the Doctor, so he kind of reminds me of the Hurt Doctor there. So, ooh, holy snap. That's... that's cheddar. We start out with some cheddar. Mm, this... is... good stuff. 7600 right off the bat, and... I'm gonna disarm this arrow trap, just to be on the safe side. Also killed a bat. Completely by accident. Always fun when that happens. Um, hmm... Well, that wasn't gonna happen. That's more likely. A little bit of gold, and we'll go ahead and grab this pot. I'm doubt I doubt I ever ca managed to carry a pot all the way down to the bottom, but you know what? Considering this seed, probably not gonna even need to be an issue. I mean, look at this gold. I I, I love gold. Look at this. This is nuts. We'll need to use a bomb to get to the oak, I think. No. Probably just a rope. No, a rope and a bomb. Or just a bomb. And I'll, I'll leave the dog and chest behind. Sorry, dog. I mean, you're my dog, dog, but uh, survival comes first. That was actually very candy. I mean, immediately getting me the dog helps my survival, but... Uh, and maybe I should say rations come first, and I have a very limited supply of explosives, with no guarantees I'll get more. Ropes seem plentiful, though, as well as just other ways of moving up. But anyway, no need to go there to get some decent cash right off the bat. It's so much money. Alright, and let's see if I can't... Oh, I was hoping the bat would trigger the thing and the thing, and then we wouldn't have to deal with this thing. Eh... Uh, oh well. We make do with what we're given. One, one of the many life lessons I've learned in my, in my very tumultuous life, let's just say. I don't want to bore you with my stories. I just wanted to bore you with me playing Spelunky. Although, to be fair... Hmm... Oh, that's a tease. No, I, I mean, it's like I could sell it to the shopkeeper, but then I'd piss him off. And I'm trying to hit A on the edge of that runway there, but it doesn't seem to go! There we go. And... Oh. No. I have... There we go. So, shop sell... Okay... One fun thing I could do is probably, like, teleport into the next room and see if I can't bait him into falling there, but the teleporter runs the risk of me teleporting into walls, like, random 5 to 7 chance of... I mean, random chance of getting 5 to 7... Oh my god, there's also the key here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna see if maybe these pots... Okay, that's a little bit of a fortune. I'm gonna slide that over to here, so... Frack! Yeah, well. Guess it wasn't in the cards. I was gonna try to wholesale and buy the jetpack. Hey! I will use a rope to grab this gold because it means jetpack time, baby! 
Seriously. Bomb can wait, I guess. I mean, I really want to steal that bomb box as well. And the compass is a nice touch. Yeah, but you know what? ka -ching! Now the real question is, where is the key? And I will have to spend my time wisely... Oh, it's right through here. Is there a way I can do... Well, well one bomb can work. One bomb and liberal jetpack usage will let me get to Doug and get key. I do not have time for Doug. I do, however, have time for key. Uh, hmm. Well, I always say the jetpack gives me infinite coasting potential. Time to put my money where my mouth is. There we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and run this ghost on a long wild goose chase, because I can. Unfortunately, though, there's still that one issue of what do I do with all my money? All right, we got a new, we got the eye, and I'm gonna up and over the ghost. Oh, they had to place a ruby underneath the bomb box as if to tease. Uh, it's always nice to have multiple venues to onlook. Yeah, sure, what the hell. I'll grab Dog while I'm grabbing the, that diamond. And up. Drop down. Oh! Ah, frack. Eh, well. Not... All that means is I'm not gonna... I'm gonna be at four health instead of five, which is... Palpable. Not preferable, just palpable. And we'll just exit. I mean, it'd be nice to grab that rock, but I already risked my life enough there. So, now we have jetpack. Now we can do whatever the hell we want, and the game just cannot stop us. Hi! Bye! Hmm. And, oh, yeah, you know I'm gonna go... S yeah, that's a spicy meatball! Oh, yes! Oh, oh no, this is actually... Uh, there we go, get over... Really, that's the hardest part right there, dealing with that damn snake. Also, auto ledge grab. Because every day is a day where I complain about auto ledge grab. I'm also gonna just go ahead and just keep massing pots over to here... Hopefully we'll get a nice, nice package. Sadly, no gems that I could uh, use bombs to grab, but honestly, I'm kind of on the short stack for bombs, so maybe I should cons not consider that option. Oh, shite. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm running low on... Well, actually, I know how I'm going to do this, because ropes are meaningless right now. Ha! Huh. Not entirely meaningless, but, you know, that's less meaningful than they'd probably prefer. And, uh, bomb here. Please be bombs. Ropes. You're a tease, game. Biggest tease I've ever encountered. I'm certainly not ghosting this vault, and I'm definitely not going to bother with that shopkeeper. I mean, options are nice, but... Eh. Let's go ahead and grab this arrow, and... I ended the last floor at 4.02, or was it... No, that was the total time, so end time was 5-something. I'm guessing that means ghosts should be coming soon. I'm just gonna go ahead and make my landing spot known, and then, um... Make Mad Dash through unexplored territory? Yeah, that doesn't actually sound good. Oh, no. Music cue is lining up there, but I wasn't sure. Then again, I was on the pause screen for a bit, so let's wait another... 
15 seconds? I'm probably... I probably should have explored a little... Oh, there's a ghost. There we go. So, uh... He's gonna go ahead and give us a nice... Hefty sum of 15 grand. And I'm going to... Lead him downward. Because I have vertical mobility and I want to get over him. I'm actually a little bit apprehensive about the whole going through an unexplored stage bit. I mean, 15k, 15 grand is just asking for me to. Oh god damn it! Wait for the scorpion to turn around. Up, there we go, and then we'll go underneath ghost. This is really the worst idea I've ever had, and I've had plenty of bad ones. I can, I can do this for hours on end, I think, but there's got to be... I mean, this is going back to that whole roguelike uh, discussion I had a while back, uh, not about the name, but about mechanics, and about how there's like a hunger, a starvation mechanic to, uh, to limit time for the players. Ouch! No? And if this is the starvation mechanic of the game, it's doing a poor job. Because... Like, I, I, I just ran circles around that ghost. I mean, it, it, it fits the mold. It's a timer, and I have to obey it if I don't want to run into a high risk of death, but the risk isn't really that high. It's there. It's there. It's not... I'm not going to pretend that it's not there, but... Uh, I, I don't feel threatened by the ghost that often. If, I mean, it depends on the items, and it depends on the circumstances. Circumstances. It depends on a lot of uh, stuff. Hey, bombs! But uh, overall, Ghost is not the greatest threat. I mean, it can be a threat. It's ignorant to not call it a threat. But more often than not, you can get away with any with murder against that ghost. Well, not literally. The ghost has, like, 10,000 health, and the most you can do with anything is, like, 10, like 10 damage with your bombs. Sorry, Doug. Really, I just want to make sure I get my 40k before I leave my, this floor, because I ate a lot there for those bombs. Where the hell is Doug? Oh, Doug's behind Caveman. Uh, Doug, I'm gonna leave you behind for a bit. Is that okay, Doug? Okay, Doug? Awesome, Doug. You're the best. And that chest had nothing. Hiya, Doug! Oh, wait. I'm gonna have to kill you, aren't I? Because of the caveman. Sorry, Doug. Oh, wow, you're still alive. Uh, whip caveman again. Can I not actually kill the dog? No, I, I, I just did. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can kill the dog. There's a reason they tell you to whip that... That if you want to engage in the whole... Bleeding the damsel for extra health bit when you have the Kapala that you use... That you whip the dog twice. Not thrice, not once, twice. Because the third whip... Will probably end poorly. Like that! Well, actually, no, it didn't end that poorly. For Pete's sake... Oh, that's actually preferable. So, I'm just gonna... Uh, let's see if I can't detonate that uh, powder keg there to get that crate. Whoop! Oh, frack! Spit on the spit on the powder keg! Frack! Frack! This got bad fast. I'm not gonna... I'm, I, I honestly, let's just call this done. I'm probably gonna die in the jungle. We can call this done. At least this means, uh, what, three videos in a row I made it to the jungle? My, my memory might be fuzzy. I might not actually have made it to the jungle as frequently as I wish I had. But, you know, some frequency. Damn it. You know what? We'll bomb to get this dog. 
A little bit of dynamite fishing never hurt, honestly. Well, except for the fish. And let's be super careful here, because one hit and I'm dead. And I don't want Dog to die, because I don't want to go ahead into that scenario. I could have sworn that I landed on that bat. It looks like I landed on that bat safely, right? <sighs> Hitboxes. I'm gonna have to be very careful when I make when I start making games about them. I mean, I'm not gonna make games about hitboxes. That'd be dumb. Well, not really. I've, the guys making dive kick don't seem to think so, but I'm I'm definitely gonna have to be very practical with how I deal with the hitboxes. Anyway, 269. Uh, okay, not bad. I did spend a lot of money on that jetpack. It did pay off, kind of, sort of. So, not angry, but I could have done better. Could have also done a lot, lot worse. And there's the Hell Club. Well, I'm happy at least. I mean, I'm getting into a groove of jungle and fever. Hopefully, honestly, once you get past the jungle, it, it, it becomes a cakewalk. Ex well, except for maybe those times when the mines decides to spring you a dark level right off the back. <sighs> Literally, my first, my most recent attempts at, I mean, my two most recent landings in the temple have ended with dark levels right next to Anubis. And sometimes the Crush Scepter is not good. Oh well. Until next time, everyone, I'm Dave. Take care.